His Excellency President Adam Abaro presided over the inauguration of a joint project on smart farming between the National Food Security Processing and Marketing Corporation and Times International BV of the Netherlands on Friday. The project aims to increase yields and outputs, improve food production, enhance the resilience of communities to climate, sanitary and technical challenges, increase household income and improve food security. Smart farming is a way of managing farms using modern information and communication technologies to increase the quantity and quality of products while optimizing the human labor required. Various crops, including tomatoes, onions, maize, rice, groundnuts, beans, and upland rice, among others, would be cultivated at various sites across the country. The project also aims to increase export earnings and increase food security in the Gambia. Speaking at the inauguration of the project, President Barrow called for food security in the country. He also highlighted the importance of digital technology and inclusiveness in the project. As public servants, rendering services to the people, it is most important that we devise all solutions that safeguard our integrity and independence. To do this, we must attain and sustain food sovereignty. In this direction, the inauguration of this project attests to my government's recent policies brought about by global circumstances. Now, in the interest of the people, our focus is on bold solutions using digital technologies in the agriculture sector. Heads of public institutions have to see this as an example of forward thinking approaches and innovative development. Thus, our partnerships ought to be mutually beneficial and aligned with the realities of the people. In the same way, our projects should always be inclusive and multifaceted enough to effectively solve the growing challenges of our growing youthful population. My belief is that the success of this project will solve lead to decrease in youth unemployment. It is a bold step towards food self sustenance and will contribute to increase GDP and foreign exchange earnings. Mr. Maud Seka, the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Agriculture representing the Minister said, the project is a clear sign that the country's investment service is promising. With this project, a has been taken to solidify our country's position. This is a clear sign that our policy and investment environment is promising, which will inevitably attract the right investments in agriculture and food security. Where a public institution like NFS PMC has provided an innovative solution to industry challenges, we hope that this environment we have created will encourage even more greater investment from the private sector and international organizations in the industry. His Excellency Rogia Hakin. Deputy Ambassador of the Netherlands to the Gambia has highlighted his country's efforts to help other countries including the Gambia with food production. Ambassador Hakin acknowledged that the Gambia is not immune to the global challenges surrounding food security and production. Agriculture in the Netherlands is in the midst of a fundamental transition. We are making the switch from feeding the world towards helping the world feed itself. With our skills and capacities, we believe we're very well placed to help and support countries like the Gambia beat the challenges of professionalizing agriculture and improving food security. And as you all know, global challenges are plentiful. Food insecurity is on the rise, uh, climate change, conflicts, pandemics, persistent poverty, you name it, all important transitional challenges. While the Gambia is not immune for these issues, it also offers a, an immense amount of potential to develop its agricultural sector. And the goal of this project today is to unlock that potential by enhancing the resilience of the Gambian local food system. Mr. Mohamed Njai, the managing director of the National Food Security Processing and Marketing Corporation, highlights some of the things the project entailed. This groundbreaking project involves a fully functional smart farming concept for 45 communities complete with solar-powered and GPS-controlled drip irrigation systems, agricultural mechanization equipment, 
full service repair and maintenance facility for equipment, vehicles, and machinery, and the installation of the state-of-the-art solar-powered cold storage facilities for the storage and processing of produce for exports. While these are exciting details for the project, the corporation is even more excited about the effects that these interventions will have on the nation's productivity and the restoration of the health levels of our soils. Meanwhile, Michael Hyland, the representative of Times International BV, says their love of the Gambia is the reason for helping to improve the country's soil fertility. And because we love the Gambia, ladies and gentlemen, we are determined to help the country to improve its soils, to improve agriculture, its food production, and post-harvest management. Because we're convinced that a well-functioning agriculture will bring prosperity to all. It will impact the life of each and every individual Gambian citizen. The project aims to make the Gambia the center for assembling tractors and other smart agricultural machinery. The concept of accessible smart farming entails a combination of solar power irrigation systems, GPS resisoning and monitoring by remote control, mechanization solutions to improve soil quality and reduce the usage of chemical fertilizers, solar power storage solutions, maintenance and repair sectors, and technical assistance. Reporting for Kerfaru, I am Landin Cesar.